So this was a quick walk in the field. And there's these beautiful flowers with their little white pollinator plant things. Then there's the cow parsley, bluebells, purple clover, sorrel. This is uh, sorrel. You can see there are tiny little yellow flowers. Then there's, of course, the buttercup. And then there's the small daisy. Then there's the bigger oxide daisy. Then there's the um, uh, lady smock or um, cuckoo flower, beautiful little pink flower. Then um, the cowslip. Then uh, this is a kind of soft thistle, but it's also people mistaken it for a kind of dandelion because it's flower head. So this can be in the dandelion family or the thistle family. This the sheep love eating this. Then here's bird's foot trefoil. It's a beautiful little flower. Uh, then, then I have two different vetches. One has these huge leaves and then one has a smaller leaves. I don't know what the, I, I can't remember the two. One is, a, there's another autumn one that's as well. Then I'm not sure what this one's called. Um, and I'm not sure what family it's in, but it's a beautiful purple and white flower. Then I have a variety of dandelions. This is a one with a long stem, and then it has a tiny flower uh, leaf at the very bottom. This one has this very velvety leaf, and I think it's called cat's ear dandelion or something along those lines. And this is a, it's a very soft yellow flower. Then there's this really tall one here with this huge leaf. And the leaf you can see is kind of pinky in color. So you can see there's one, two, three, four, five different dandelions and six if you include this one here. And you can see their leaves are different are kind of the teeth are different, how the teeth are serrated. And this is another one. So these are in our fields. We have at the moment in a quick walk around one, two, three, four, five. And if you want to include this one, six different dandelions. And that was only a cursory kind of glance. So that's the variety of plants that are in our fields at the moment that the sheep are now grazing. So these are two very different, but often confused plants that are out in our fields. This is a yellow clover, it's sometimes called. It's got a series of other kind of familiar names. And then this is wood sorrel. Now, the flower, <laughs> hello pup. The flower isn't showing itself. It opens out kind of like um, in petals, like a daisy. It, the, it's closed because it's a cloudy, clo um, cold day. But it opens up with petals and everything. But if you eat these, the cool part is with wood sorrel, the individual leaves have a heart shape. I don't know if you can see that. Let's see. There is a beautiful heart shape, very distinctive kind of shape of a heart. Whereas these ones look more like a uh, traditional clover in its shape, do you see there? So you can see the difference. But the wood sorrel is delicious eating. It's got a, the leaves taste like a combination of sweet and savory. It's absolutely delicious. I love wood sorrel and salad or just walking in the fields, I'll pick it and graze it and eat it. It's absolutely delicious. Here you can see its seed pod coming into formation. And then this is the yellow clover or creeping clover or something else. But these two are often confused. But when you have them together, you can see they're very, very different. Uh, particularly the leaves. There you go. There's the very heart-shaped leaves of the wood sorrel that is so absolutely delicious. And uh, so those are two that are often confused out in the fields. So I brought the bunch of flowers that I was just that I laid out and show you. I forgot this um, this lovely yellow kind of clover to include that in the group. Inca, leave her be. Let's see. Do you want to eat my bunch of flowers? If I put them in a tray, they might not. I don't know. So. I might spook 
Uh, Inca, leave her be. Let's see. There. Do you want to eat any of those? Yep. Whoops. Puppies, you're going to get got. You got got. Look at that. Nibbling my flowers. The bluebells got got. The dandelions are getting got. The vetches are being eaten. Look at that dandelion leaf is being eaten. Dandelion flower is being eaten. So they're so well satiated in the variety, it's not like it's sweeties to them at the moment. But if they were just out on uh, plain old ryegrass, they would have devoured all those. But they have so much variety in the field. It doesn't look it to just look at it. I suppose if you look that way, you can see the yellows of buttercups and dandelions and flicks of daisies and things like that in the field that they're all eating. So they're get, getting plenty of herbs to eat. So being served a bunch of them makes, uh, doesn't really interest them as much as it might have done before they came into this field because they're getting so many different delicious herbs and varieties. Whatever they so desire, they can find and eat. Hey, kitty. Cautious, cautious. Ooh, being surrounded now, are we? Haven't met. How long are you going to last? Ah, okay. Casually walk along. Woo! There we go. You escaped, did you? Hawthorn is in a very difficult spot for you, haven't it? <laughs> oh, I have admit, the Hawthorn is not in a very good spot. <laughs> you managed to get through the Hawthorn, you clever kitty. <laughs> it wasn't very nice of me to laugh at your struggles, was it? It wasn't very nice at all. Very rude. Very rude. I know, you're such a clever kitty. <laughs>